In this video, I will show you how to play AAA asynchronously through play by email and play by forum. Start AAA up and then make sure that you have the game you want to play loaded. If you have been playing online and you want to take that save game offline into an async game, just click load saved game and load it here. Any game can be turned into an async game or turned back into an online game at any time. Also make sure any game options that you want are set. Generally speaking, you and your opponent will decide on the game options and who is playing which players before you start the game. Whoever is playing the starting player is going to be the one that sets up these options and does the first turn. So, assuming that's you, click Start PBEM or Play by Email or Forum Game. This brings you to a settings page for async games. There are three areas, Dice, Forum, and Email. There's also help buttons beside each of these in case you should run into any trouble. Dice settings are to determine how dice are generated. In order to prevent cheating and to prevent a player from simply trying their turn over and over again until they get the dice they want, we use dice servers. Every dice rolled will be emailed to everyone involved from the server that is generating the dice, which is separate from your local computer. Click the drop down menu and select dice.aaawarclub.org. This generates some fields. Click the Help button for directions. As you can see, you need to go to dice at AAAWarClub.org to register your, all of the email addresses that will be receiving dice emails. You need to put your email in the To field and all of your opponent's emails in the CC field separated by spaces. Let's try that now. So let's go register our email. The other two are already registered, thankfully. In your browser, go to AAA, uh, dice.aaawarclub.org. That brings you to this page. Enter your email in here and click register. This will send an email to you to finish the registration process. So, go to your email and you will see an email from Marty, marty at aaawarclub.org. Click on that and there is a link you have to click to finish the registration process. So click that now. If you didn't, if you couldn't find the email, remember to check your spam or junk folder. So, Registration was successful. You can now use the Marty Dice server. Go back to the AAA app. For game ID, you're just going to enter in a unique identifier or string. Unless you're playing a tournament or ladder game. If you're playing a tournament or ladder game, then there's a specific number or string that you have to put into the game ID. But otherwise, it's just a unique identifier for the game click test server and it will send out a test dice email so it looks like it was successful let's check our email ah up here from Marty test game test your dice is three looks like it worked now go back to the AAA app and we move on to the next section. Play by forum games will have the game save summaries and pictures posted to a forum thread. Play by email games will have the game save, save emailed to you and your opponents. You can actually do one or the other or both at the same time if you want to see it both by email and by forum. I find play by forum to be the most fun method as it lets other people watch and follow your game. Click on the drop down menu and select AAAWarClub.org. 
There is another option, accessandallies.org, which is a different forum. Both will work, uh, but I will only show you AAA War Club for now. Now click Help to see directions. So, it says that first you have to register on AAAWarClub.org forum. Create a forum post and copy the ID from the URL uh, in your address bar for that forum post and put it here for the topic ID. Your login and password are the AAAWarClub.org forum login and password fields, not your login and password fields for anywhere else. So, to begin, we first need to go to your browser. Go ahead and type in AAAWarClub.org and that brings you here. If you already have a username and password, go ahead and log in. Otherwise, you need to click Register Now. Fill in username, email, password, and confirmation code and then click submit. From there you will get an email that looks like this from AAA War Club with an activation key. Click on that and then to become a member you need to confirm by clicking here. This will finish the whole process. When that's done go ahead and log in. From here you want to click Forums. You may want to bookmark this page. Scroll all the way down to the bottom and you will see Play by Forum section. AAA, Play by Forum, Play by Email. Click down here. This brings up the Play by Forum section. Now you need to click New Topic. Give it a subject, such as test, just for your first one, and enter a description. Click Submit, and your thread will be created. Click up here if it doesn't automatically take you back. So here, you're looking at your new thread called Test, and you can see up here this is the URL for that thread. This is in your address bar of your browser. You can see there is a topic ID of 1939 and a post ID and a forum post number. You don't need to worry about these. All you want is the topic ID. Go ahead and copy that. Go back to the AAA app and for topic ID put that in there you only want the number. If that is the right topic ID you'll be able to click view forum and it will go there. For login you're going to put your your war club forum login name and password. It's not the same as your email, it's, it doesn't have the at sign on it. Now click Test Post to see if it worked. So, it looks like it was successful. Let's see if it really worked. Click View Forum and it will open in your browser the location of the test post. Here you can see, from my user, there was a test summary and attachment posted to my thread. If you go back to the forum and you scroll all the way down to the bottom, clicking the Play by Forum section, you will see that this thread here is our game, and in our game is that test post. So it looks like that worked. The last section is Play by Email. Click the drop down menu and select whichever your email provider is Gmail, Hotmail, or everyone else. I'm Gmail, so I'm going to put this in here. 
click help to see a list of directions. For the subject line, just put in whatever you want. That's going to be the subject line for every time a new post is made. The to field is everyone it's being sent to separated by spaces. This includes your email address. Login and password are your email account login and password. So this is the actual password to my Gmail account. If this is all correct, click test email to see if it worked. Now let's double check. Ah, looks like I'm right here, sent an email to myself with the test attachment. So, everything worked. Go ahead and click play. At this point, I like to save the game just so I have the settings all finished if I need to come back to it later. Go ahead and just do a couple attacks or something. We're going to add a Russian bomber just so that I can show you what happens when there's when you need to pick a, a order of losses for your opponent. Now, generally speaking, when the casualties are obvious, you don't need to ask your opponent. So you can just select the casualties for your opponent. We know that this is the best selection and there really is no other option. So you can just run through the whole combat. And we won. However, when it's not obvious, such as there is a bomber on defense, or a multinational defense, or carriers and fighters involved, then you need to ask your opponent which casualties they would like to take. So the Russians need to take two casualties in this case. We shouldn't be selecting them for them because perhaps they don't want to take the bomber as casualty, perhaps they want to take to infantry. We don't really know. So in this case, you could save an email to them, but the best way is just to post the turn. So click File up here on the top left, and then Post Game. And this will send it to the forum. And they then will check the forum and be able to tell you which casualties they want taken. So let's check the forum. Refresh your thread and here the current save is posted. They can then open up this save and reply back to you take the bomber and one infantry casualty. And you can continue. At the end of every turn, there is an option to post the save. So over here on the right, we can see that the turn is finished and click post turn summary and that will send the end of the turn to the forum. You should do this every single time that, uh, that a player's turn is over.
if you're